Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special guest. My name is Jay. We both met at USC and we decided to do a mukbang together today. And today we have McDonald's and this is our script. We have two McChickens, chicken McNuggets and fries. Yeah. And then our candles. We wanted to give a really beautiful scenery. <laughs> you know, some candlelight dinner. <laughs> Let's start with our drinks. Oh yeah, our drinks. Okay. Here's yours. Today we're going to be drinking Coke. Coca-Cola. <laughs> that one's... Good. <gasps> Do you have a napkin? Cheers. Cheers. To us. I should just have a squirt on my face. <laughs> okay, let's get the chicken. So today, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna have story time. Our time at USC. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about, let's talk about, that's something everyone always talks about. Um, their roommates. Yeah, like crazy roommate stories at USC. Let's talk about that. Just be careful with who you're choosing to live with for a year or whether it be a semester. Mm -hmm. you know, that's really gonna shape your time at USC. Um, talk about yours first. Where did you live? Um, I lived at a place that starts with the letter G and ends with the letter Y. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, right? That was your first apartment. Mm -hmm. But I basically had to like rent the place for a semester and the summer. And in the summer, like, I didn't have summer school, so I wanted to move out. So I had to sublet it, right, to someone else. But because I subletted my place, I still technically own the place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like so, there's like legal ties to it. Mm -hmm. So continue. So not only was I subletting my place, but like I was losing money because no one wants to live there in the summer. You know what I mean? That's so people true. are asking for less money because no one's going to pay a thousand dollars. You Wait, know what I mean? Please don't tell me you paid for some of their rent. Stay there. I <gasps> You're joking, mm -hmm. bitch. Mm -hmm. I did. Okay, continue, continue. But basically, after I sublet this place, apparently the person who subletted it was so dirty mm -hmm. and so like problematic that <laughs> they got kicked out before the sublet ended. They got kicked out of the apartment by management before it ended, right? And so I was like stuck with not only paying the rest yeah. of the rent, but I had to go back to the apartment and clean out the apartment before I moved out, right? Yeah. And it was my mess. Like, that person just got kicked out. Did you tell them that's not un that's unfair, though? But it was still, like, my thing. Like, you know what I mean? You were legally tied to it. I was legally so. tied to it, so I, ha I had to clean the apartment. Yeah. And when I got back to the apartment, the apartment was so freaking disgusting. What did it smell like when you walked in? It was so disgusting, dude. Like, I literally cannot even joke about this but basically the minute i walked in not only was it so messy okay but i went into the tv room like the yeah. general area the living room the living room but there was leftover pork chop like takeout like mm -hmm. on the table yeah. like on the coffee table which was like okay it's like whatever but i opened it up right when i opened it up i freaking saw maggots <gasps> Everywhere. Maggots. You're joking. You're joking. Maggots. I'm serious. I saw maggots everywhere, like inside the box. And that was like the most disgusting thing. Wait, wait. I've never, like, I literally cannot. <laughs> How does someone live through that? Like, don't, like, I, don't I would know. feel disgusted over myself if I was living through that shit. I don't know. But it was so gross. And then, after that, I went into the bedroom mm -hmm. the closet and then i was like looking through like the drawers i don't remember if it was the closet or the restroom but i was looking through the drawers and i was like cleaning everything out i opened one drawer and there's a freaking leftover apple core what like apple core? like 
the core of an apple, like the fruit. The apple. Oh, okay, okay. The seed just part. In, just inside, like the stem and the seeds and everything. Like inside the drawer. And then yeah. I saw like, and then like in the closet, I saw like all these like, um, what's it called? Like smeared like boogers, like on the walls. <laughs> Ew, we're eating right now. You're making it too gross. <laughs> I lived at a place that starts with the letter L and, le and ends with the le letter O. And it's far away from campus. If y'all know where that is, don't live there. Okay, I'm letting you know right now. It is too far from campus and it's cheap. And when we get when we get on throughout this video, I'll tell you why. So my my time at USC, like like living mm -hmm. in Starlight like Housing. Mm -hmm. My first year, um, I had well, the thing is, I lived with a bunch of guys mm -hmm. prior to like you know transitioning. But my first th my first year there, um, I had three roommates. Three roommates. Um, there's three rooms, and the and the smallest room had one person living in it, and that guy was so fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. Like I would study in the living room because you know my roommate's sitting in the room. I don't want to be loud with the lights on, okay? Mm -hmm. And I would be studying in the living room, and this guy, he would slam the doors back and forth, back and forth. And I, I you know, I gave it a few, like, few months, like, you know, it's gonna wear off, maybe. It did it. And then there was this one day I was studying for my final exams, and I just couldn't take it anymore. And I literally screamed, Stop slamming the door! And he's like, What? And I said it again, Stop slamming the door. Do, do you have a problem? Is something bothering you? And then he starts like cussing me out, like, you know, like being rude. And I'm like, I'm trying to study here. You're making it harder for me. And when I'm coming out of my room, do you see me slamming the door? When I'm going to the kitchen making food, am I quiet or loud? I'm quiet. So be, please be courteous and do the same thing for me. And then he kind of backed off and he went back in his room. But like, you can tell like, I, ever annoying. since then he didn't like me anymore. Did he ever like you to begin with? No, he didn't, like, he didn't like anyone there. Like he made a he made a hell living there. Okay. Look, if you're someone like me, don't live this street, man. I'm letting you know right now. Do not. <laughs> They're dirty. I'm not gonna say all of them. The majority of them are dirty. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. But the place was always a mess. Always. There was like food left on the ground. I like, think you just need to live by yourself. I agree, but that's expensive. <laughs> But there's like always like food left on the floor, like like leftover pizza there for a week without like it being touched. Um, the floor the floor was sticky. It was like it was like like grayish and sticky. Okay, you know what? I'm surprised we didn't get cockroaches and rats. Okay. Oh, I got cockroaches. Really? Mm -hmm. At G Y. Really. G Y. There's cockroaches, guys. There's cockroaches. And there's black mold in GY. Wait, let me say something. L, third floor, they have cockroaches, okay? Do not live on the third floor. Whatever you do, get out of the third floor. <laughs> but your, what floor did you live on? Second. Oh, no wonder. My cousin also lived in GY. Yeah. And she was like on a much higher floor. And she had cockroaches, like intense cockroaches. But that's another story for another day. But I know my friend also lived in the same building as me. Yeah. And he lived there for a semester, and then at the end of the semester, this is like law suitable, okay? Wait, what happened? What happened? So basically, um, they found black mold in their apartment, right? And that's literally like, you cannot live where there's black mold. Yeah. Like, that's literally so bad for your health. And so they found it, and then. Did you take photos or her? Mm mm. They didn't take photos. They should have taken photos. Mm hmm. And then the apartment management literally said, here's an extra $400. Please don't like do anything. That is shady. Camera just had him die. Oh my God. Anyways. So we're going to talk about how we got into USD. So you just sound, I don't even know where I am now. But basically, what I had to do, I just transferred after one semester and I went to the seminar that extracurriculars, like, didn't matter! Didn't matter! 
spider! <laughs> I thought it died. Is it another one? And it's the same one. Go, please. Go, 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 go. Go. Let's just, we're, we already talked. We lost our footage. I'm so sorry. But basically, focus on your grades if you want to transfer to USC. We're both transfers. Focus on your grades. Get straight A's. You don't need to even worry about extracurriculars. That's what they told me. That's what I, I did. My are fine. Yeah, I, but I got straight A's and they accepted <laughs> me and it was good to go. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. We cannot finish this food right now because there's this spider really literally like mm. right above us. Um, so we're just gonna close this video out. I'm gonna link Jay's YouTube channel YouTube channel in the description box below if you guys wanna follow Jay. Um, I'm just starting out. I'm gonna be doing lifestyle, fashion, uh, uh, my more, stories at USC. Yes, more problematic <laughs> stories at USC. So if you guys wanna check that out, if you guys want to know about like USC fraternity life, like mm. Jay has a lot of experience in regards to that and like um, how it shaped Jay as like as a person. As a person. Um, so yeah, check Jay's channel out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and we're gonna head out. Please don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you, bye. Bye. <laughs> Can you kill it? I'm, I'm gonna kill it.